to get to know the people behind the hands in the plan with me. Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. And I am on my way out for a well-deserved day off and a beginning of the summertime, springtime day. I am going to the beach. How y'all like my messy bun? I tried to do a messy bun and it really came out to be more of a hot mess than just a messy bun. But And I keep hitting it on stuff, so. But, I, you know, I'm happy that I have enough hair where I can make a messy bun without, you know, adding some extra hair to it because you know I done did that too. So, I'm on my way to the beach. I'm just going to pick up a friend because, you know, beach time is fun by yourself, but it's funner when you have a friend. So, I'm picking up my friend right now. So, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, folks, what you are hearing is nice, cool air at this moment. And I picked my friend up, but, you know, she's a little slower than me. So we're actually out in the little beach town but we had to stop at the store first. We, they had an Aldi's here and I stopped here and you know I was in the, one of the Facebook groups and um, they were talking about uh, Aldi's products and someone said what is Aldi's? I keep hearing about Aldi's and and someone said it's a place where you buy you can buy items there but you don't eat the food from there and you know at one time this might have been that type of store but now all these has come a long way Ooh, my doors is open one of, they've come a long way and so they really have some good food um, and the food is also is inexpensive as well and um, Sometimes they have name brand stuff also. I, I buy, I, I go there before I go to the regular store, especially for like vegetables and things because I eat more whole foods and fresh foods when I can. And so I get a lot of that from Aldi. So if you guys have an Aldi, you should check it out if you haven't been there for a while or if you're afraid to go, don't be afraid to go. So we just had to stop here first and just kind of get us some snacks because we both were kind of like unprepared for today usually i'm a little bit more prepared but today just one of them wasn't one of those days and i didn't really care if it was so i'm just kind of just taking it easy today and um so next time you'll probably see us out on the beach and maybe you'll see my friend as well all right i'll see you guys once i get out there Okay, you guys, we still haven't made it to the beach yet, but we're close this time. We're actually eating at a restaurant. We're having lunch at a place called Chases on the Beach. I don't know what the name was, so I had to ask my, my partner in crime here. Chases on the Beach, they usually have good food out here, so we're going to have something to eat. And then we're going to sit out on the beach for a little while and people will watch and stick her toes in the water. And then... We'll be back with you shortly. Okay, so um, this is a video, not a picture, lady. This is a bucket of margarita that we got. Well, actually, I wasn't going to drink anything, but peer pressure took over. Yeah, it did. That one right there. All I said was, do you want to sip? So for the entire time that I was contemplating whether I was going to order it, Liz said, no, 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 no. But the minute the bucket came out and I said, do you want to sip? She was like, okay, I guess I'll have one. <laughs> so we took this beautiful picture, which you guys will see. And we sipped together because we're friends like that. So That's right. We're friends like that. We don't really care about the backwash when liquor's involved <laughs> because the liquor kind of cancels out the backwash. You don't part. really think about anything. And you don't really think Come about on, that. Let's give another. Hey, I actually I have a little story time for that. Okay, I got a little story time about backwash. I went on this. Yes, I went on this cruise right to Greece. I went on a Mediterranean cruise. It was awesome. And we stopped in Athens, and when we got off the boat, we met this lady, and her name was Carmen. And Carmen is actually a school teacher from Colorado. And Carmen really wanted a drink. And just like today, I was like, I don't want anything. I don't want anything. 
So Carmen bought this big old beer and she was, you know, you know, you meet people and you just hang out. So we were walking around Athens and she was like, you want some beer? And I was like, why not? So we were both drinking out of a beer can. That's kind of ghetto, but that beer was damn good. <laughs> So that's my story for Athens and backwash. I don't really care about backwash as long as there's alcohol involved. Guess what? It, what, it ain't a game. What you didn't tell us was how many days you spent in the hospital when you came back. There was no hospital time. <laughs> However, there was one day on the boat that it was a hangover day and I couldn't get out the bed. And I have another story about that also. Uh, you know, it was um, me and my boyfriend at the time, and we were at, in Santa Torini. I think I know I said that wrong, Santa Torini, and I couldn't get off the boat because you had to get on a little boat to get to the shore, and I was so hungover from drinking some Italian wine, I couldn't get off the boat. So I went and I got back in the bed, and I just like my whole head and everything was covered up. They came and cleaned the room, and they didn't even know I was in the room. <laughs> That's how under the bed I was. And I was like hungover for like three days, but that was some good wine. No more so that's stories. My sto that's my story for it. That's Those are all story. of her stories because she told us three. Well, I'm getting back to uh, you know. I'm okay. getting back to the margarita. I'm so, getting back to the bucket. People. We're gonna get back to. We're gonna get back to the bucket. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> okay. We finally made it to the beach, and we're just resting and relaxing, and we kind of dipped our toes in. And let me just show you guys. You can see what. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? It's nothing like the sound of the beach. And we're just gonna sit out here and relax for five minutes because it took us 15 hours to get out on the beach. But we're just gonna we're just gonna chalk it up to the process. We enjoyed the process of getting out here because you know we love we love hanging. That's right, it's about see she said hola. Hola. It's about Hi, it's about the journey and not about the destination. So I told her, don't freak out because it took us 12 hours to get to the beach. We stopped off at 12 places. We had to stop for groceries. We had to get something to drink. We had to get the da 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 stop. We left the house at 10.30 this morning and it's three, what time is it? It's kind of bright it's without the sunglasses. 20 to four and we're just getting on the beach. But it's about the journey, not the destination. It's about the journey. And not the freaking destination. Yes, girl. Tell you speech. Yeah, so now we're just going to enjoy and uh, enjoy the surf and people watch and just be happy. And the reason why he's over here is because he's begging for food. He smells my cinnamon raisin bagel, but I'm not giving him any. And I actually seen him try to pick up like a big bag, like a family sized bag of potato chips before and steal it from somebody. But of course he wasn't successful because it's hard to pick up something with one leg. And so it didn't work for him. But we were just talking about him and because we always come to the same spot and when they had the last hurricane here the place yeah the place got tore up so we were thinking maybe his nest was gone but nope he's still hanging out over here probably because he can get some good morsels of food that drop on the ground so you guys will probably see more of peg when you see like my beach footage because you know i love taking beach footage because i like bragging about going to the beach because we can go to the beach 24 7 if we wanted to and if you're up north you probably can yeah and we do it's so nice
she's respecting your space. This is what it looks like, our view. This is our little camp that we have going here. And this is our view. And you know, most of the two have left the beach already. You can see our shadows right here. Me, that's me, me, and my shadow. Y'all didn't know I could sing like that, did you? <laughs> anyway. And if you go down this way, there's nobody down this way. My partner is laughing at me, man. My partner's laughing at me. All right. All right, you guys. I just decided to just kind of take me a little short walk down the beach. Just a little short walk because you can't go to the beach without taking a little short walk and kind of getting your toes wet. And today was a good day. It took us forever to get out here to the beach, but. The payoff is that by the time we get out here, everybody else is going home. So that's nice. So we kind of have the beach to ourselves. I showed you not too many folks left out here. And, you know, it doesn't bother me when there's lots of people out here. But, you know, it just seems more peaceful and less chaotic when there's nobody out here but you. And surprisingly, the water is not too cold, but I'm not a swimmer. I can't swim. I'm not going to get too far in the water. Uh, I'll probably just get my toes wet, and that's about it. I put my swimming suit on because I want to fit in, but that's about it. But I'm not getting in the water, and I like it like that. I still put my sunblock on because I don't want to get sunburned because it's easy to do out here. You think. The sun is not that intense. It might be a little windy or cool, but believe me, the sun is no joke. Nothing to play with. And so I always put on the sunscreen, even on a cloudy day, because I've gotten sunburned on a cloudy day. So I hope you guys are enjoying the beach experience. Yes. Okay, my messy bun is like for real a hot mess bun now. And not to be mistaken with hot cross buns, but a hot messy bun. My messy bun is now a super hot messy bun. Oh, look at that. I think my hair was trying to revert back to its original state from when I was in my mother's womb. <laughs> Yeah, it's not even like shrinkage. It's like going all the way back to the beginning of time. Your looks fun. Oh, but thank you. Yeah. But we thank you. Sure, get yourself together before we leave, cause ain't nobody got time for that. I'm just saying. I don't even know what you're talking about. I, whatever. Mama this is a beautiful birthday, if I must say so myself. I got to get the set. What you? You did not know sing like that, did you? Okay, you all, we are, we're I'm away from the beach the videos, and, really. ma'am, excuse I'm me, ma'am, I'm trying to finish, I'm, I'm, and I'm we married. are grabbing no, a bite to eat at over. Burger Fi, I've never eaten at Burger Fi, but oh peer pressure, God. once again, um, people made me come to Burger Fi to get a, she wanted to come, she said no, once I came in, I said, watch anyway, it, watch it, watch it, so, just watch it. um, we're on our way home. We're at Burger Fi and we're gonna grab a burger and I've never been here before. So you can maybe get to see me we're taste my burger. Burgers. Yeah, I'm having a veggie, veggie burger and I'm not getting the bread part. I'm just getting the lettuce part. Cause I don't, they have it on like on the multi-grain bread and I really am not a fan of nuts and seeds on my bread, you know? So I don't want that. So I just asked them to they do the, like their lettuce. Bread, they yeah. other bread. That's not the only bread. The lettuce FYI. menu. That's all right. 
You know what? I'm trying to, can you like stay over there on your side? And I'm gonna stay on my side over here. I'm trying to stay on my side, y'all, but <sighs> Jesus take the wheel. Jesus take the wheel. Because this one here. You've been driving all day. Now you're gonna ask Jesus to take the wheel? Yeah. It's never too late to ask Jesus, Jesus to, to take, take the wheel. <laughs> just got home and I always like just jump right in the shower when I come home from the beach so I can get the sand out of my head. But I had a really good time but I didn't really end the vlog for today so I wanted to do that and I just wanted to say thanks for coming along with me on my beach day and for those of you that probably didn't catch up today was my birthday. I just didn't really see it. I'm not really doing anything to my hair right now because I'm gonna condition it in the morning, but I always like to rinse the all that sand out of my hair also. So I get it off my body and I get off my hair. So I'm looking kind of wacky right now. I, I hate not having earrings on. But that's it. I just wanted to say good night to y'all. Thanks for coming along on the journey. I had a lot of fun. And make sure that you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, of course. I do mostly planning things on here, but you're going to see some wacky stuff. It's kind of random sometimes because, you know, sometimes you want to get to know the people behind the hands in the plan with me. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel as well. And also, again, if you have subscribed, and I just want to say thank you and that's it for tonight and i will see you all on the next video love peace and hair grease from your sweet lotus blossom and love Lizzie. have a fantabulous day and enjoy life